Whew, that's a that's a big that's a big question. I mean, gobbling um, up smaller stores, right? That was one thing you mentioned earlier, and I I took you down a wormhole. Sorry about that. No, that's all right. I I, I love that wormhole. Um, I think the next five to ten years, you're going to have more emphasis on EV, right? It's still going to be that hot topic. Do right. I think it's going to take up a majority of the market share? No. Um, do I think technology to make um, not just the dealerships jobs easier for their employees, mm -hmm. but technology in the, in the regards to making it easier for the consumer. Mm -hmm. I think that is what the industry is going to be going to in that five to 10 year span is that um, for me, easy means, well, let's take Starbucks for instance, right? I can pull up my app. I can pay at any particular mm -hmm. location I want to drive to. I can use my rewards points or I can pay with my debit card. You know a lot about Starbucks, man. I do. By the time <laughs> I get there, my, my coffee is ready, right? Yeah. How great would it be if you had that same type of one app that's dealer facing that I can call roadside assistance. I can make an appointment. I can pay for my bill. I can look at my repairs and okay them right without picking up the phone right i can get the value of what my trade-in might be i can find out what vehicle service contract i have and how much time i have left i believe that is the the big thing is if you want to hold on to your data as a dealership and not let the manufacturer take it from you how are you going to do that and how can you make it easier for the consumer pull yourself out of your chair and out of the, the CEO or service advisor or service manager or sure. owner and be a consumer. Look at it from the consumer's point of view.